Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stop hackers from uh, attacking your WordPress site and injecting all types of malicious code and scripts and all types of stuff that not only will uh, make your site, you know, load slow, it might even put your site down, but it'll also really, really hurt your search engine rankings because Google really doesn't appreciate sites that are getting hacked. So it's really easy. Um, and the first tip I want to give you before I talk about this really awesome plugin is to make sure you get the right hosting. So, you know, I used to be on GoDaddy hosting and I, my sites got hacked all the time. And I think that happened because at the end of the day, your site's hosted on a server. And what hackers like to do is they like to attack certain servers. I don't know why, but it just seemed like GoDaddy servers kept getting attacked. So the best thing I did was I switched my hosting to SiteGround. And SiteGround is, is hosted in Europe and it's kind of low key. It's a great it's a great um it's a great company, but it's not mainstream. So it's kind of under the radar and that's why I think I've been having better results with my hosting just because most hackers are most likely attack sites like Bluehost and GoDaddy and they're not really paying attention to SiteGround. So that's my first tip is to kind of get on a host that's really good but not really mainstream that'll really help you and my second tip is to download this plugin called security so what you want to do is you want to go to plugins add new and then you want to go over to the search box you want to type in security and then you want to click this install button right here make sure you install this one um, not that one this one security auditing malware that one and then you want to click activate and then once you activate it you want to go over here to the dashboard and there's a few things you've got to set up so the first thing they're going to ask you to set up they're going to ask you to set up the AIP key and to set that up you just simply go into settings and then you'll go here and you'll generate your AIP key, your a API key I'm sorry your API key what that'll do is just basically connect you to their server and allow everything to work fine and then you want to also make sure your data your data path is set up properly and this is really easy to do as well you just make sure you're connected to your uploads for your WP content slash uploads security folder make sure that's working so then once you get those things set up first thing you want to do is you want to scan your site so you know if you think you're getting hacked you just set up your site it's a good idea to just use this thing called malware scan um, it's, it's not a hundred percent but it does a really good job at, at, at figuring out if you have any problems so I would scan my website first and then I would go over to this thing called hardening now what hardening does is it blocks a lot of the attempts that uh, most commonly made so what I like to do is I just like to select all of them so I like to harden the WordPress version the PHP I harden I protect the uploads directory that stops people from uploading files the WP content access that'll block that so that's usually a common spot your includes block that too. your block security keys um, this is the readme file and I didn't harden that but I'm gonna harden that now as well because you never know that you know that could be leaking information so I'm gonna harden that as well and then you also want to harden your default admin count and this is a, a really really big one um, you know one of the most common ways people in do is they'll inject code into your theme so you know a lot of times if you're using an older theme and you don't change it you'll have uh, hackers put malware and all types of crap um, in your theme so a lot of times what you'll find out is you'll like just change the theme you'll be like oh the spam's gone well that's because they put it in your theme so you want to harden this now if you want to make changes to your theme you're gonna have to revert it so you're gonna have to click this button and then uh, you see as you see it's it's hidden but if I click revert hardening let's say I wanted to change you know something on the theme or whatever I want to change some of the code and use the revert hardening and then um, you know you click refresh and then allow you to go back to the, the theme editor but once you make your changes don't forget to, to harden it again because that's one of the most common places uh, code is ejected. In my experience, most of this malware and spam is in your theme. So make sure you harden your plugin editor theme. And then, you know, ever since I've been using this plugin and using SiteGround hosting, I haven't had any hacking problems. I haven't noticed any problems so far. So I just think getting um, a good hosting like SiteGround, you can click the link in the description to sign up with SiteGround. My number one recommended host, I host all my websites with them. And get this plugin, it's called Security, and enable all the options I just talked about. And I think 
you'll do really really well at preventing your site from getting hacked by spammers and hackers and then you can just focus on your content your visitors and monetizing your website so that's it for now um, get this plugin it's free it's awesome install it on all your WordPress sites and hopefully this will protect your sites if you have any questions or anything please leave them in the comments please like comment subscribe and thanks for watching